NTT Basic Research Laboratories is searching for new materials to support telecommunications in the future. Here, we will introduce a material that has shown potential for electronic applications. That material is called graphene. In graphene, carbon atoms are connected in a honeycomb lattice and spread out in a sheet. Despite having outstanding electrical, optical, and mechanical characteristics, it has been difficult to produce this material precisely. Recently, however, a method was established for growing graphene from silicon carbide crystals. Silicon carbine is a compound with a diamond crystal structure in which carbon and silicon are arranged in an alternating pattern. Silicon carbine is heated in a furnace filled with argon. This causes the silicon atoms on the crystal surface to evaporate. As a result, the carbon atoms remaining on the crystal surface spontaneously form monolayer graphene. We also found that if silicon carbine is heated in a vacuum, bilayer graphene is formed. This is a simulation using a supercomputer. Graphene exhibits epitaxial growth. That is, it grows along the substrate crystal. This gave rise to the name epitaxial graphene. When viewed through a low energy electron microscope or LEAM, it is possible to accurately determine the number of epitaxial graphene layers. This technology, original to NTT laboratories, enables the production of either monolayer or bilayer graphene, thereby opening the way for the creation of graphene devices. This is a chip mounted with an epitaxial graphene device. We investigated various electronic transport properties, from extreme cold to room temperature. The results showed the quantum Hall effect, in which the electron motion is quantized when monolayer graphene is subjected to a magnetic field. This indicates that graphene can be incorporated into devices that utilize quantum effects. We have also confirmed that there is a band gap in bilayer graphene. In other words, a region where electrons cannot exist. This characteristic can be applied in transistors that use an electrical field to control electrical currents. Diamond Fullerene, carbon nanotube. Carbon materials have become the subject of intensive research recently. Over the past few years, graphene has been added to this list. Graphene is the thinnest and strongest of all known materials and demonstrates outstanding conductivity, making it ideally suited to a wide range of applications. By utilizing the advantage of growing graphene extensively on a large area substrate, the development of devices using epitaxial graphene will accelerate quickly in the near future. <laughs>